What's up guys? Today we're doing some crazy river crossings with my friend Jared and a bunch of the other guys. Where everybody's gonna get stuck. Everyone's getting stuck so far. Uh, if you're not on 35s, you're gonna get stuck at some point. So mm -hmm. let's uh, let's get into the video. What do you say? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. After airing down our tires to around 15 psi, we headed off. This trail is located in the Coast River area in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. Luckily, the weather today was only a few degrees below freezing, which is a hell of a lot better than the minus 30 weather we had the last few weeks. There was a lot more snow than we expected up here, so it was pretty slow moving with people in our group and outside of our group getting stuck constantly. But we were still all having a blast plowing our way through the deep snow. finally made our way into the valley, this view never gets old, and we are all excited because we know there are some crazy river crossings ahead. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze, I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me And I hope That you never Decide to set me free The way you're moving It's got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Let's not waste time on oh, 
I've been super happy with how the GX has been performing the last year or so, and I find the approach and departure angles are great with 35s in the front bumper. I still really want to beef up the rear end and add sliders here this spring. Jared's Forerunner has been making every obstacle look easy lately, especially with the Dobinson's long travel kit in the rear. Finding out where I'm headed now Looking for a sign of disaster So I can make it there faster I'm weighing the consequences out I can, I can see in all directions it's all open to interpretation But I see colors that are breaking from the other side The other side When I make mountains out of summer trails When I buckle under all the details I'll keep going till I make it to the other side the other side Can you tell me the secret of how you can take it over? You can blend in with the crowd I'm so scared, so damn afraid to look I'm so sick of talking I'm wearing the words out, words out I can, I can see in all directions After a delicious lunch, warm campfire, and some shooting, we got Spencer's truck unstuck and then headed off to do some more exploring. It gets dark here in Canada around 5 p.m. in the winter, so we were trying to make the most of the light we had left.
I've been really impressed with the performance of the Goodyear Duratrax off-road in winter. Matt, however, has his set studded, which does make a big difference on these ice ledges. After watching Jared make his way up this bigger ice ledge fairly easily, it was now my turn. Somehow I managed to get myself high centered and stuck on the ledge and a rock so we had to quickly break out the winch to pull me off. I then found out a track wasn't working because of my faulty ABS sensor. So this gave us the perfect opportunity to test out some traction boards which actually worked out amazing. Having all these lights on the front of the GX, especially the amber lights in my bumper, makes a huge difference in my confidence level off-road once it gets dark. Being able to see where you are going is definitely a nice feeling. today's video guys hopefully you found it entertaining or learned something and i'll catch you in the next adventure <laughs> my fucking heart just went into my stomach